everyone, we're going to be installing the Manticore 15 inch transformer. This is the Gen 2 rail. I just wanted to show you all this and uh, why I like this so much. I've got this on another rifle. This is going on this one here that I'm building. And this is a 15 inch rail. And the reason I like this is because of these panels. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And what these allow me to do, this rifle is going to get these grip panels here and they just screw onto there. I can also put an M-lock, I can also put um, a Picatinny or a key mod or anything else in the future. They can come up with these new panels, they just bolt on. I can literally have every attachment mounting on this rail and uh, they're super easy to install. Uh, they come with their own proprietary nut and their own, where do I put it? Um, their own nut wrench. So I've actually done this multiple times on multiple rifles. So I already have some ready to go. And I'm just going to show you how easy this is to do. There's no timing of the gas system, anything. I've already got everything properly lubed with some MS-33 grease. And all I'm going to do is just tighten this on by hand. Right there. I've got my torque wrench set to 35 pounds. You want your crow's foot to be 90 degrees so you actually get a true torque value. And all I'm going to do is take 35 pounds, hold it right into there, and torque. So there's 35 pounds torqued once. And then I've got this one set up. Because I'm going to season the thread, you never want to untorque with your torque wrench, so we're going to loosen it. We're going to torque it again to 35. So there's 35 twice. We're gonna break that one more time. And then now I'm just gonna simply take my torque wrench and set it up to 50 foot pounds. So there's 50 foot pounds of torque right there. And Torque it this one last time. There's 50 foot pounds. That is the installed barrel nut for the transformer rail. And then now the rest of this is very simple. This rail slides over, and there's set screws that are included. There's tabs on the top. This simply slides over, lines up, we install our set screws after we put our gas block on, and that is a installed transformer rail. I'll show you how it looks like when we're all finished up. All right, we've got our gas system on. It's time to put on our rail, and to do that, they give you six screws. There's some longer ones and some shorter ones, and they give you the hex keys to do all this as well. So we're gonna use a smaller hex key, and all we're going to do to install our rail is going to slide it over and there's two ears up on the top there so it may not work with some of the billet uppers but for mil spec it just slides over and you can see those ears line up on there push everything together and it locks in tight and there's one two three four five six seven, eight holes, and there's some grooves that are in there that's gonna hold everything into place. So we're gonna use the shorter screws on the top and the longer screws on the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is grab these and start threading them in. So there's our short screws, it's fine. A couple of our longer ones, and we'll do the bottom piece here. There's that side. Over 
over this side. I've got another longer screw. I'm going to do the bottom side here. Finish off with these top two smaller screws. Oof. Oof. Did you see that ninja move? There it is. That rail is fully installed. This really is one of the easiest rails to install out there. There's no timing. Everything lines up. Everything is centered. And perfect. It's an awesome looking rail. And like I said, with the adaptability, as far as being able to change with this. So we're going to be installing these grip panels. You can also put on panels that are cut for M-Lock if you want M-Lock attachments or Picatinny or Key Mod or like I said any future rails that come out. All they're doing is, is going to make these new rails and you can replace them. And there's a couple of different uh, grip panels as well as far as like designs and textures. This is their snake skin which I think looks really cool. And these are just going to lay in here. And we're going to use these screws and tighten these in here. And that'll finish up our rail install for the Manicore Transformer. Alright guys, that's it. That's all the way through installed with the Manicore. Again, this is a Manicore Transformer. These are made by some good friends of mine, great people over at ManicoreArms.com. Um, they're really good priced as well for what it is. And these come in, this is a 15 inch on a 16 inch barrel. This is a 15 inch rail. They also have a 13 inch and a 9 inch rail. So go get your Manicore Transformer and uh, stay safe. We'll see you on the range.